Oh wow, there's a bunch of people in here. All right, got two people in here. What's up, Yolo? Can you guys hear me? Everybody, can everybody hear me? Give me a, a thumbs up, thumbs down. Somewhere in between. Because I can't hear myself, so. Uh-oh, maybe that's a no. Oh yes, okay, perfect. I also added you as a mod, YOLO, so I figured that out for you. Alright, I'm gonna get the box all cut open before we start. That way the seal's broken. And that way we can start in a short minute here. Camera quality isn't the best, but we're gonna move forward and push on. Uh-oh. The ban hammer. Nah, don't ban him. I don't even know if he's awake right now. Is there tape in here? What am I missing? Hold on. There we go. There we go. Here's what it looks like. So there's the background and then the pack art are underneath here and there's 15 total. I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute here. Got my girlfriend with me tonight. What's going on, John? 464, how are you? We're gonna be kind of pack battling. Um, so she'll pick one and I'll pick one depending on um, how this goes. And then we'll cut uh, the packs open with this little handy dandy, nice scissors here. Um, and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> so I guess we'll get started um, since we have a few people in here. We'll get started right away. Um, I'll start with the first one, the right side. All right, so let's get into it, see what we can get out of here. And I do have some free code cards to give away tonight also. So if you guys are looking to add to your TCG online collection, tonight is that night, as I do have some code cards. All right, so first pack, we're gonna take one from the back to the front flip it over all right can anyone tell me it's one right um yo you're married man chill out chill out all right so we got uh tangrowth a yam mask we've got a uh spinner rack mm -hmm. no that's ninkata ninkata there we go a shina tick and a trainer okay all right, so nothing big on the first one. I'm gonna try and put the bulk off to the side here. All right, which one are you taking next? You're going left or right side? Left side? All right, I'll let you cut it open and then you can do your pack. Statistically, she's got better pulls than me. She pulled a full art from Hidden Fates on one and only pack, so we'll see if she can outdo me on this one also. All right, start off with the trainer. Trico, another uh, item. Silicoon, cutie fly, and the trainer. So no hit out of that pack either. Starting off kind of weak, but we'll see if we can heat up. I'm gonna take, let's see, I'm gonna take the next pack here from, we're gonna go to the left side. Feeling left is a little lucky today. I'm feeling this one. And I'm pretty sure um, there are guaranteed pulls uh, in this, the Japanese boxes. So we should have a secret rare of some kind in here. I just don't know how to read the um, the rarity symbols on the bottom of the, the cards in Japanese. So if you guys 
are adept at that. John, I know you, you do a lot of Japanese stuff. Um, so if you're adept with that, you can for sure chime in at any point. Yeah, yeah, I swear, they have, when people don't know what they're doing, or like, haven't done it before, I swear they have better pulls, because the reverse hollows are, I think you told me about that too, that's crazy. Alright, so we're going to start off with a nin, no, not ninjask. Yeah, Shedinja, there we go. And we have a Curlia, there's ninjask, very nice. A Ralts. All right, let's see what's back here. <gasps> no way! No way. All right, so here's our, our rainbow. Oh, my God. I told you guys. It was lucky. There it is. The rainbow of the box is a Mimikyu uh, gold, or rainbow GX. That is going to be our secret rare. Holy cow. I think that's it, but I, I there's got to be some more other pulls in here, some GX pulls. Oh my gosh. So that's a fairy card too. Fairy type out of the fairy rise. Look at that. That is one very good looking card. Centering, let's take a peek before I put it in the top loader here. So there's pretty good centering on that one. Backside looks stellar. Japanese, like I said, the um, a uh, the Japanese card quality is significantly better so we're gonna leave that bad boy back there or girl i guess um so yeah there are more hits i don't uh know if this could be a god box by any chance but we'll see how that goes all right which side are you gonna pull it from right side all right we're gonna see if this is a a banger hit i don't know what the what the um the uh price looks like i'll have to if anyone has their uh, what you call it up and um, and running there, Google or anything. You guys can check it out and see kind of what maybe that's worth. Oh, something's back there. Another back to back. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, so we got a net ball. Combi, female version. Uh, Carbink, I believe that's when that one is. Ooh, Alola Nine Tails striking the the what you call it there. The Snow or Vulpix? Yeah, yeah. All right, there we go. So we got a holographic chandelier with like white flames going on there. I know that's what they normally look like, but there we go. That's that's another hit of the box. We got another hollow. Doesn't quite compare to the rainbow, but it's still pretty dang good. Hollow, hollow hits are, are pretty good here still. Um, four hits in Japanese, does that include the ultra rares? Or so is there gonna be three more uh, like Ultra Rare GXs, or that Mimikyu's a $40 card. That's pretty, all right, well then, money is pretty much made back there. Uh, I bought this box from Scott Cinderquill over at SJC Collectibles uh, for a good deal. So um, I'm hoping he's able to stop by at some point and maybe see uh, what came out of the box. Oh yeah, GXs, okay. Yeah, I wanted the, um, I was hoping for the uh, Rainbow Nine Tails, the Lowland Nine Tails, because that's one of the cards that I wanted. But Mimikyu is is a close second in this box. A Rainbow is a Rainbow in my opinion, and the GXs all look really good. So um, yeah, the Nine Tails is what we were looking for. But who knows? Maybe this is a God box, and, and we'll get um, we'll get another one. Who knows? It's very possible. You got a Land Pint. Kecleon, just kind of chilling there. The there is that uh, shoot, what's it called? Queen something. Vespa Queen, I think. And a Meloetta, so a non-hollow Meloetta. I'm pretty sure that's a rare. Let's see, yeah, pretty sure that's a rare. So that's pretty cool. All right, okay, so we get four GX cards, and I got a rainbow. Okay, so that must be my my secret rare then. Um, of the box there. I mean, there very well could be more. I'm not, I haven't opened up too many Japanese boxes, so I'm glad I've got you guys to help us out. All right, next pack in the battle is going to be left or right. She goes left side this time. All right, we'll see if she can top the rainbow uh, Mimikyu. Yeah, that nine tails too. I was thinking the other day about the, the shiny one and hidden fades too. Um, once we hit that 200 subscriber mark, I'm going to do that big opening. And I'm hoping that's one of the cards I can pull. 
All right, so here we go. Let's see it. All right, so we got a trainer item card. I have no idea. Moral Law, I think, is what that was called. <laughs> uh, Ninkata. Shine a tick. And a cutie fly, I think. Nice. Oh, McMunch, I swear, if she pulls the nine tails out of this box, it's over. That's, this is going to be one crazy box. If she pulls the nine tails, that's, that's it. That's probably the best box anyone's ever opened. All right, so we're going to pull from this side. See if this one's got any good things in it. Um, the nine tails ultimately, but yeah, if, if we get another another rainbow for whatever reason, I've seen some of the EV uh, heroes boxes be unreal. Like people have pulled two alternate arts, so maybe maybe you know Pokemon Company just slid in a couple extra big hitters in this box. Maybe that's what they're they're scheming for us this time around. I've had it sitting around for a little while to open up, so I'm hoping, hoping. All right, next we starting off this pack with the Wigglytuff. Is that the Cutie Fly? What's the other one? Beautifly, Cutie Fly, whatever. Same, pretty much same thing. Little Litwick action there. Not too bad. And then we got a Wormpole going into the last card. Okay, so a shiny or not a shiny. <laughs> uh holographic shaman uh i don't remember what the forms for her are or it i guess i don't know if it's de designated male or female um but this is one of the forms this is a very nice one i didn't know that this was in the set so that's a holographic shaman that's another nice really hit from the box uh, i like that form i like the other form better i think the sky form is the other form but yeah not too bad so we will keep trucking along into the next one so we're gonna go Next one, which side? Mm, left side again. Let's see if ground and air. Yeah. So then, it, it, why? Is, so is it ground and grass? So grass is primary, ground is second, and then air, it's grass and flying. I guess I don't know. I, that's one that has always kind of puzzled me. All right, we'll see if she can get something. We got a Grovile, another Litwick, another Carbank. Seeing some dupes here. Ooh, something's back there. A worm pull. And ooh, a hollow hollow tapu uh lele. Tapu I believe that's tapu lele. I don't know exactly, but we got some mythicals and legendaries uh coming in here as the holographics. So that's not too bad. It's partially why I wanted to get a fairy rise box. I'm gonna take off the right side. Is because um there's a lot of cool artworks, so a lot of the holographics and stuff are legendaries or the rares are mythicals like we saw with um, the island uh, one there and then also with Shaman. So, so yeah, we're going to we're gonna keep trucking along. We haven't hit any of those just regular ultra rare GXs yet, so maybe we got one of those heating up here. And I bet you she pulls all the rest of them. I guarantee it. All right, so we're starting off with a Grovile. Moving on, ooh, that's a cool Marpico. Very cool, learning how to knit there. Going into the Man Satchel. Then we got a Ralts and an Amulet. I'm not sure what the item that is in the English, but not too great out of that pack. We're gonna move on to the next pack. Which one are you going on? Ooh, right this time, digging deeper on the right side. Let's see if we can, which of the GXs, you guys got to tell me what, which cards out of this set besides like the nine tails are, is your favorite. I know the Japanese are a little bit smaller in terms of, um, card sizes in terms of the sets, but if you guys have any favorites that maybe were in English or otherwise, let me know. Let me know what you guys think about fairy rise in general. All right. Starting off this next one, an item, Silicoon, more lull. Oh, another yarn. They must have liked the yarn kind of uh, pattern here. Oh, I see something back there. And, oh, a Prism Xerneas. Nice. So Xerneas, that fairy card. Um, wow. Let me show that one off one more time. The Prism Xerneas. Looking very nice. Yo, what's up, Cool Squirtle Gaming? Glad you could join us. Glad to see your face in the chat. Um, we just pulled a little bit ago. 
the rainbow rare more uh not more pico what's his name mimic you mimic you from um the booster box so that was our our rainbow gx and then we just pulled a prism star xerneas very very cool card i like how the the hollow kind of stays in the prism and it's not outside at all and then of course the hollow around the edges very very nice so we're going to leave that one on the wall of fame back here and is my turn mm -hmm. okay so i'm going to take from the left side this time we're going to see if we can't pull something great um does that prism count as one of the other hits in the box then or is that just one of the holographic slots um there's four hands yeah my uh my girlfriend's with me so we are opening up this kind of in a, a pack battle style um so far she's gotten most of the hollows and then that prism star and then i pretty much only have gotten a hollow shaman and the rainbow um so yeah she's here doing some pack battling a little bit um Let's see, before we go into it, let's go back to these hollows here. So I pulled this Shaman Hollow here, and then she pulled, the, I believe, Tapu Lele, and then also the uh, Holographic Chandelure. So these are the three hollows we have in the box so far. Um, so yeah, not too bad. It is a hit. Okay, so there's the hit, Prism Star. Love it. Very cool card. Um, definitely one that I'm glad to have in the collection. And we're going to get into this next pack here and see if we can get a GX card out of this box. As some of you may know, I do love those GX cards. Those are my favorite style of, of uh, like the ultra rare that Pokemon has made. Um, so I'm hoping to get at least one more of those. All right, we're going to go into this last one. And it is a Netball. So Vest Queen Netball there. Nothing crazy out of that pack. But don't fret we still have about half of the box left if not a little bit more than that so which side is she going to take from left or right and evening it out with the left side of the box let's see yeah i love those hollow borders too i'm glad there are other people out there who appreciate them um i wish the english versions kind of had that same dynamic but i do respect the idea of it being different between japanese and english it makes it maybe more worth it to buy both so yeah all right we're gonna head into this next pack here see if she can pull something great card trick pro over here oh i might see i think i see something back there <laughs> cutie fly that tangela with uh the yarn again all right we got kecleon just just booling oh okay so we get first kind of repeat hit uh more or less of the box so we got that holographic shaman once again um not too bad of a hit very nice card again we love those hollow borders something i wish english would take a little bit of a note on pokemon if you're watching this if you're watching this now's the time uh to do that so um we're gonna get into this next pack here so far it's been pretty good Have you not seen my EX card? I haven't been keeping up with it lately. Lately with work and stuff, I have not been keeping up with like reels and TikToks and stuff that you guys have been posting. I've seen a few of your gold stars and stuff like that, um, but a lot of the time I don't see it. So I'm gonna have to go look after, oops, did I do the trick? Uh, I'm gonna have to go look after the stream and see, uh, take a peek at them. I'm, I'm, I apologize that I haven't looked at them yet, but I'm, I plan on it. I usually just binge a bunch of them at one time. If you've noticed, I'll do a bunch of the comments at one time. Um, and here we have the Shedinja. So nothing crazy, another repeat on there. But I know CSG, you've got a lot of those um, like old era. Come on, oh yeah. We do have the Rainbow Mimikyu. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's how delayed it is for you guys, but we're gonna go into the next pack, which one she's gonna pick from right side i did uh make munch i did watch the last live stream it, i think i watched the replay of it though i wasn't there to be, i wasn't able to be there for live um but i did watch it i did and i'm pretty sure i left a comment for you so uh, if not i'll have to go and do that yeah we did we did get the rainbow mimic you back there um i wanted the nine tails kind of but you know rainbow mimic works also 
Um, I'll show you. I'll show you a little bit more with the centering after this pack here. Let's see what she can pull. So we got. I think that's a Beautifly, Trico, uh, Vulpix, Jigglypuff. All right. So another hollow. We got the Tapu Lele once again. Holographic. Not too shabby, but a repeat nonetheless. And yeah, I'll, I'll, let me show this off really quick while we have a, a little lull moment here. So we've got the Rainbow Mimikyu GX. Centering looks pretty pristine um, on the front side. I would say this would be definitely a card I would consider getting graded. And then backside also looks very pristine also as most, if not all of the Japanese cards are. Um, so that definitely is uh, one of the cards I would consider getting graded in the future. Anyone playing New Unite? Yeah, I actually have been playing the last couple of days. Only a few games here and there um, before bed. But I, I've been playing a little bit. Um, I just bought Garchomp, the license for Garchomp last night. And instantly started playing really well with it again. So, yeah, I've been playing. What what uh, Have you been up to uh, playing CSG? Have you been able to start grinding yet? Um, I know that you probably are one of those people who would love to grind, but I know with your kids and work and stuff that that might not necessarily be uh, something you get to do all the time. So we're gonna hop into this next pack, see if we can pull a GX card of some kind. Oh, and as I say that, there it is. Uh, we have the Sigilif GX. Uh, I don't know if it's just because the, the artwork comes outside here, but that is one cool GX card. I actually have never seen this artwork before. So there is one of our bigger hits of the box besides that rainbow so far. Um, that looks very nice. It, I don't know if it's just me, but it looks a little bit more heavy or heavy on this side. It's a little bit thicker on this side than on the, the right side. I think, I don't think it's inverted for you guys, but that is one nice GX card. We're going to set that in the wall of fame back here back with our Prism Star Xerneas and the Rainbow Mimikyu. So uh, according to McMunch, we've got one hit left, but it seems to me like we've got plenty of packs, so I'm hoping for the best. She's going to go left side this time. Nice choice, nice choice. Um, I'm hoping maybe there's at least a few more hollows we might not have yet, and maybe a couple more good hits. I would like maybe a full art trainer card. Uh, those are always nice to have. Not really grinding, play like four to five matches a day, level eight so far. That's not too bad. Yeah, I think I'm level seven, so I'm not too far behind you, but it's it's fun. Do you, uh, are you interested in playing ranked or do you do more like the standard quick play kind of thing? All right, nothing crazy out of that pack. Nick Munch's uh, theory has been proven so far, but I plan to prove him wrong. I'm gonna take it off the right side this time, getting down to the last, you know, kind of few packs we have in the box gonna see if we can't pull something crazy um but like i said yeah i played i think maybe two or three mac matches max a night i played with mcmunch a little bit um and we played pretty well together we had some not great teammates but you know that happens done more ranked matches lately yeah when ranked matches i think are fun because it, most of the time it's people that like know what they're doing or at least somewhat know what they're doing so the higher rank you get, the better teammates you might have, or just more knowledgeable teammates you might have. It's always a chance to get a good box with more hits. They have them out there. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm hoping for here. Uh, we started out the box really strong with that rainbow, but I'm hoping, hoping that maybe this is one of those boxes that has a couple extra. So there is, I think her name is Lusamine. Maybe not. It's a professor. I, maybe, I don't know. You guys will have to correct me, but no hit out of that pack, as you might have predicted. Um... We're going to see which side she picks from now. Going on about 25 minutes um, as expected. So we're getting pretty close to the end here. Um, but yeah. Which uh, which character or Pokemon do you main, CSG? I forgot to ask you. All right, we'll see what she gets here. We've got Beautifly. Oops, something's back there. I see it. Ball picks. Nincada. Ooh, and a Tapu Fini holographic card. So we had the Tapu Lele, and now we go to the Tapu Fini holographic, which adds a new holographic to our 
stash over here. We'll quickly go over that. Um, so we got the Tapu Fini. There's that Tapu Lele, the Shamans, and the other Tapu Lele, and the Chandelure. So I don't know quite how many are left. Uh, hollows, different hollows that we might be able to pull that are left, but, you know, not too bad. Between Zara Aura and Score Bunny. So did you buy the, um, whatchamacallit? Did you, oops, did not mean to shake that there. Sorry, guys. Uh, did you buy the, uh, what's, sent, not Scent of Scorch, it's, I forget what the, the name of it is now. Um, the Score Bunny license then, or did you get, was it something that you got, with, was there like a premium version, did you buy gems, or, because Zara Aura is overpowered. Zara Aura is really good. All right, let's flip this one over. We got a Tangrowth, a Dene, Ninkata, Carbink, and the Amulet to power up Psychic types, according to the man, the myth, the legend, Mick Munch. Or Finny. I think Finny's my favorite. Uh, Lele is cool, but I think the water type, the way they have her designed, or it designed, uh, is very unique. So I'm kind of liking that. All right, it's time. Here is a free code card. Whoever snags it, I'm going to leave it up here for five, four, three, two, one. Vivid Voltage code card there and gone. Use your points to get score bunny. Yeah, I, I use mine to get uh, the Garchomp. So, but uh, that's a good pick. I've, I've seen a lot of people playing it. It's kind of hard to uh, counter in some instances, but Gengar is OP. Yeah, I've heard that there are a lot of changes that need to be made. It, that and Crustle's speed, I don't know what build that is, but it's insane. So we got Litwick, Curlia, is that it? And another Amulet. So the Amulets are, are breaking out here. We're gonna, last couple packs here, how many do we got? So we're gonna do two packs at a time. We're gonna grab two packs at a time this time and cut um, those. Hey, Justin, what's going on, man? How are you? Glad to see you in the stream. We're opening up our box here all right you want blastoise yeah i am surprised that they brought blastoise before or i mean uh gardevoir before they brought blastoise i'm actually quite surprised about that all right so we're gonna do two packs here i'm not gonna do any sort of a card trick i'm just gonna go with the flow all right so we got cacleon lampent cutie fly Cafragrius. there's another trainer so i don't think any hit out of that pack Curlia, or I mean, uh, uh, Ralts, Wormpole, and a Gardevoir. There we go. So that's a new holo for us, a holographic Gardevoir card. Very, very nice artwork on that one, and it looks to be very, very good centering also. All right, um, let's show off this Mimikyu. So, Justin, um, we pulled the Rainbow Mimikyu in the third pack. Um... And this is kind of what it looks like. It's got the, you know, classic Japanese in the back and then the great centering and texturization on the front there. I think it's texturized at least. Um, the Pokemon, oh yeah, it definitely is. It's hard to see because the camera quality is quite poor um, from this streaming studio, but Blastoise is too much of Beast to be unleashed. Yeah, Blastoise, I would bet it'll be another ranged attacker, much like Venusaur, um, but yeah. Ooh, something's in there. She's got something. The heat is on its way. Got Jigglypuff. Ooh, there it is. A hollow Giratina. That's nice. We like that card. Giratina's one of my favorite. And there's another one back there? Of course. Of course she has another one. Of course there's two in there. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh, not that one. And another holographic Gardevoir. I think there's one more card behind there. Yeah? Okay. Very, very nice. Wow, of course she gets the double banger pack. Of course. Um, so there is a, Gar a Giratina. Giratina Garchomp, I think, is my favorite tag team duo, as you guys can see here. Uh, the, the other box, this has been opened, though, so I just have the box itself. But those are some of my favorite uh, Pokemon tag teams of all time. Those two are in there, definitely, for sure. Um, let me scroll back up. See if I miss anything. Oh, Kecleon and Pogo. Yes, I was going to respond to that. Um, I agree and disagree at the same time. 
Um, I know a lot of people want him, but I guarantee you he's either going to be an event that they hold, um, and it's going to be like somewhere in the future as in like another Pokemon Go Fest. And I would guarantee you he probably won't be easy to get. Like it's going to be one of those things where we're going to have to do a quest to get one and then put it as your buddy. And it's going to be like seven and a half kilometers just to get one candy. But I guess we'll see. I don't know. Everybody, they've tried to, they've teased it a few times, but it's one of those things that I just don't know that they're ever going to actually follow through with. So I know we got Meloetta and stuff, and there's a whole lot of things that they haven't done yet, like the combination, the Russia, um, Russia Ram, Zekrom combination, and then other ones. So I guess we'll see what they decide to do next. Titar Sab Sabli tag team. Yeah, I think the alternate art, or like the second artwork for those, was sick. Oh! So we have a Septile GX. There, I believe, is one of the last hits of the box. I'm pretty sure we only have one or two packs left. Um, a couple packs left. So there is another hit out of the box. Very, very nice GX card. Centering looks stunning. Also in the back quality, it looks very, very good also. So let's see now if we can prove Mick Munch wrong in this box. So far, doesn't look like we are, but for that, there's our, one of our hits. Yeah, I think, um, out of all the pulls so far, which is your guys' favorite? Personally, obviously the rainbow, because that's, you know, you can't go wrong with the rainbow. But the prism star, I think, is close second, because I don't have any prism star cards yet. Um, so that's the first one that I have in my collection. All right, let's see if she can't pull anything nice for us. Ooh, there's something back there. Of course there's something back there. Is it a rainbow? It just might be. All right, so there is a holographic chandelure. I believe the second one of this box, not too shabby. And then that Tangla taking its yarn classes. <laughs> and the amulet and a Meloetta. Very nice. So Meloetta was actually recently released in Pokemon Go as part of the Go Fest event. And I'm just curious, how many of you guys actually uh, did that, got the ticket played? and got a Meloetta, and if you got one, was it good stats, was it bad stats, was it like terrible stats? Mine was okay, I believe it had max HP, but other than that, nothing else was full, but it was three stars, so I can't really complain. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't cut it, okay. Giant Grass Gecko, yeah, that's, you're 100% right, and the shiny is super cool too. Uh, Xerneas is also one of my favorites. I prefer it over Yveltal because the shiny Yveltal is just a big piece of bacon. But I got her a high three star. There you go. Yeah, Prism. I'm or, um, I'm super sad that Fairy is gone. But you know, it makes it it makes it that much all that much better. And the dragon's coming back, so who knows? Maybe we'll have dragon and fairy at some point after evolving skies i'm kind of hoping for that also high three star you didn't check the stats that's all right hey it's always there stats really matter if you're not going to like use it that much but i always just do it just because it's kind of cool i go for trying to get 100 percent and whatnot so okay so another hit mcmunch check it out man that's five we have an alolan nine tails gx very very nice card it makes up for that non rainbow it would have been nice if this was a rainbow a lonely nine tails gx but it is another hit out of the box there we go very very nice i'm super stoked about that one that's going to come onto this side a little bit here and we're going to keep trucking through these last few cards see if there's something in this second pack and nope just another grow vial so nothing crazy out of that yeah if you if you guys have a bunch of rare candy saved up from raids and whatnot i would 100 percent recommend doing that for sure all right we're gonna drop some code cards for you guys i'm gonna give you a good 10 seconds to prepare yourselves for some code cards that are coming and we're gonna do three code cards for you guys right now and they're absolutely free of charge first one to get them wins so the first one for Sun and Moon base, there you go. Five, four, three, two, one, and gone. Second one right here is 
for Shining Fates. See if you can pull that Shining Charizard online. Three, two, one, and gone. And the final one. And there we go. Another Dragon Majesty. That is one heck of a pack. Whoever gets this one, best of luck to you. I believe this was actually from CSG's pack. So I'm spreading the love. CSG pulled me a full art. If you haven't seen that TikTok or short, go check that out. In my, uh, I have all of them in my Instagram bio too. So if you guys want to head out there and check, um, check that. All right, we're going to go. Remember how I said that there's a guarantee of four GX level cards? I wasn't wrong. He's got to hit over the lower tier. Okay, I see what you were saying. So four GX cards for sure of the ultra rare, I guess. I don't know. I don't think it's called that in Japanese, but um, of that level. And then it was just, okay, I see what you're saying. That makes more sense. So here are the hollows of the box. We had a Giratina, a couple of Gardevoirs. We had a Tapu Fini, a Tapu Lele. We had two Shamans, another Tapu Lele, and another Chandelure. So nothing crazy, but a lot of very cool artworks. I'm very excited about this box. We have the Alola Ninetales GX. We've got the Sigilyph, I believe is how you say it, GX. Very, very nice GX cards. Two ones I'm very excited for. And then we've got the Prism Star Xerneas along with the Sceptile GX. Very nice. And of course, that very, very nice Rainbow Mimikyu. Something to be remembered. Definitely made this box worth it. That being said, thank you guys all for hanging out. CSG, YOLO, McMunch, John, if you're still here, all of you guys, um, thank you for hanging out. Justin, especially you too. Um, we got CSG, you know, all of you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for hanging out, and I will catch all of you in the next one.